Johnny, I'm who's relatively early in my career. Uh, starting a company uh, in my early in my career is actually a fairly culturally abnormal thing for me to do. In fact, the best and the brightest people, at least here in the UK, have historically gone into finance, um, you know, uh, consulting, law, um, and increasingly going to work for big tech companies. Part of this, this premise where we found these individuals before they knew what they were going to work on, before they knew who they were Nearly everyone who we take has studied um, STEM degree, like science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Um, and if you look at the kind of gender distribution of people in the UK, in those universities, it's about 80 20 as well. Across the kind of like, I would say that like, gender diversity is very, I would say that the our relationship with the government in the UK is stronger than we've got anywhere else and where this has been a particular benefit is being able to we take roughly 150 people a year at the moment and we do about 20 definitely to remain so the second policy the government has helped you with is one individual one can invest in this company and then claim to be sent back uh, on their tax bill at the end, maybe the end of the year um, against that amount of uh, If I invest instead in a startup, I can get, if I only pay five pounds in tax to put this capital into these early stage companies and allow them to kind of like bridge the first 12, 18 months of their existence is the only thing that really allows you to flourish in the more long term. So I think we have the kind of like access to the it, it, you, you kind of need both elements. Um, it's quite a system to the next level, but it's just you already need to have. I think, your experience? I think it absolutely can. Like, Backgrounds, you know, as, right? Like uh, uh, where these people now have like twenty to fifty million dollars sitting in pretty big uh, bank and not working with our company. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Early, early stage venture capital fund, and uh, these are all his friends. Yes. Um, so if you're familiar with a fund in Stanford, you know, it wouldn't be investing in PhD founders that have almost 22 companies um, across the UK. Is that we have our core investment team here in London, and then we have student investors to go meeting with a professor that's our, that's our doing their PhD in quantum computing. So you know, those are the people that. So we act as an independent venture venture capital fund, um, but the student investment partners 